G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder. Whilst I'm kind of sick of beating a dead horse in the uh, talk about the battle rating changes, I feel that this is kind of a necessary topic once more to address. I really don't want to make any more of these videos, but there are a couple of new developments that have happened that have uh, required a little bit of attention towards the War Thunder community. So, one of the recent changes that has happened is that Gaijin have decided to add the MiG-21, um, not MiG-21, the MiG-15 BIS, and the Sabres without missiles, with the exclusion of the F-2 Sabre, moving them both down to 8.3. Remember guys, Gaijin really likes your feedback, and so what they did is they just pulled the rug over your eyes and decided to not only just ruin all the way down to 7.3, but uh, make sure to really throw it straight into the ground by doing so. Gaijin have basically, in this single maneuver, ruined the entirety of, of jets, just with overcompression on its own. Now, whilst you're not going to see the worst case scenario every single time, you are going to get some situations where you get either a full down tier or you get a full up tier and are therefore not able to um, either have your ass cheeks clapped or clap ass cheeks respectively in your uh, overcompressed vehicle as such. But the point still stands that Gaijin have basically done a half-assed job here. So in this particular video, we're sort of going to go over the basics and we're going to go over what I think should happen and what, in my opinion, is Gaijin's biggest flaw. So we're going to start with a couple of statements that need to stand and need to sort of set the tone for this particular discussion. Now, in this video, we are not going to be fanboying over any nation, over any vehicle. That includes the Javelin. I'm sorry, Javelin, but you get thrown into the shitter as well. For me, personally, I don't really have a favorite nation. Well, I would if it wasn't, uh, you know, if it was very competitive, uh, that would be Britain. But unfortunately, it isn't. And of course, I have other content to cover. So for me, my best interest here is in a balanced game all around. And I would encourage the War Thunder community to be in the same mindset. Favoring one nation over the other is plain stupid. I don't really see any, ne any reason in order to, uh, to do that at all. Unless, of course, you are playing one nation and you would like that one nation to be better than the others unfairly. And in that case, well, that makes you a fucking idiot. So, with that aside, I would like to uh, make another statement here suggesting that one vehicle suffering is better than it destroying an entire battle rating. And by this, I mean that if a plane is down tiered and negatively affects the battle rating below it, then it should not be down tiered. It should remain at the higher battle rating. A third statement that I would like to make is that battle ratings should be, or a plane with equal battle rating means that it is able to go toe to toe very, uh, very strongly, or they have a very good potential if the matchmaker was, say, just MiG-21 BIS and just F4E. In my opinion, the matchmaker would be fairly interesting. I think it would be fairly strong. Uh, another good case here would be something like MiG-15 BIS and Sabres without guns which is why they were both moved down, which in that vein makes sense, but in others is absolutely ridiculous. So, what we're going to say is that if a plane has an equal battle rating to another, then it is considered an equal opponent on an equal level. And if a plane is fully up tiered against another plane, the plane that it is fully up tiered against will have most advantages, whether that be engine power, weaponry, energy retention, climb rate, turn rate, high altitude performance, RWR flares, you name it. In this case, if a plane is in a full up tier, it should be able to at least deal some level of damage to its opponents. Otherwise, the other planes that are top BR should have almost free reign. That's not to say that the plane at the lowest BR should be a complete bottom feeder and have no chance, I think the plane at the bottom BR should have the reasonable chance by having one or two metrics that are at least available to the plane in order to make it competitive. So in this sense, I would like to extend that statement and suggest that planes that are a single step away are either slightly better or slightly worse in battle rating, whether it is higher or lower. So for example, an excellent uh, example of this 
is in my last video on battle ratings where I proposed some new battle rating changes. Um, most of them were received fairly positively actually. There were a couple that were disputed, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, I wanted some discussion and I basically got that. So if you would like to have a look at that video, I will try and link it in the video description or in the video card on the left hand or the right hand side of the screen. But basically, I suggested that the MiG-21 BIS and the F4E and F4EJ were to go to 10.7 because they had the capabilities to deal with that higher tier combat and they sort of ruled the combat. They had more utility to throw at their enemies. They had semi-active radar homing missiles. They also had more than four. They also had afterburners, flares, RWR, radar. And these are the important factors here that play into what makes a plane at a, at a good battle rating. If a plane is over-tiered, it's going to see more occasions where it is just not going to be performing against its opponents. And that's a reason why I oppose the increase in battle rating of the J-21s. Because you're going to be seeing things like the F-82s, which will absolutely destroy you. You will see things like the G-55S, which will absolutely destroy you. And in this case, it is an extremely negative change. Not only that, but I've been outclimbed in the J-21 by P-39s, so it really can't be that overpowered. And, like I said before, I've also made a video on that one. So, with this out of the way, I think it is sort of time to have a look at what Gaijin have actually done here. Now, in my opinion, Gaijin have done the lazy thing. They haven't done things properly, and this is kind of a symptom of Gaijin, just doing things the half-assed way. Instead of fixing things properly, they'll address the symptoms, and they'll sort of, instead of attacking the root cause, apply a band-aid solution, which is unacceptable. This is a very highly developed company pulling in lots of money. They should have at least the brains to fix something properly. They shouldn't look at the symptoms and then try and treat those as instead of attacking the root underlying cause. And we can all tell as players who play this game several hours a week that this is the case for battle rating compression. It's clear that when even someone who, in general, as a general rule of thumb, opposes battle rating compression, like the European Canadian, because um, he actually does make a valid point when he says things like uh, the, the decompression will just sort of shift the shit BR to something else. So in some cases where the battle ratings are very compressed, you will actually get situations where you're just taking one shit BR and moving it to another which is a fair point, but in this case here, we can sort of get to a point where we have enough vehicles in this battle rating and we have the queue times available to open up the battle ratings a little bit more. And the fact that Gaijin hasn't done this is just baffling. It's just, it's just weird. It's just stupid to me. And the, the thing with the Sabres is now they are going to be fighting things like the F-84Bs. And if you've ever played an F-84B and taken it up against a let's say MiG-9, you know that the MiG-9 and the F-84B are basically on par. Now, not only that, but the MiG-9 is going to be facing the Sabres, and the Sabres will absolutely destroy it. Not only that, but anything that is at 8.3 is now going to get destroyed by these MiG-15s and Sabres. So you can basically kiss 7.3 all the way to 8.3 goodbye, solely because of a simple change that has been used to, in my opinion, appeal to fanboys, basically. Well, why is my MiG-15 shit? Because it's not played properly and there is battle rating compression. Why is my Sabre shit? It doesn't have any missiles. Why is it fighting things with missiles? Well, that's because the things with missiles are too low tier. They need to be increased in battle rating instead of the Sabres being brought down. And that's why when you consider battle ratings, you need to think of the ecosystem around it instead of just the fucking statistics. And this is what really shits me off with Gaijin. They look so narrowly at this shit and they don't have a wide, holistic view of what needs to be done. And because of that, everyone ends up suffering. Over the last few days, we've had MiG-19s and these Sabres now down in battle rating, and it has basically caused havoc. Not only has it basically destroyed 8.7 and 9.0, but you have effectively just canned top tier as well. And why is that? 
because now that everyone's playing their MiG-19s, the MiG-19s are getting up tiered to 10.7 and are now facing F4Es and F4EJs, which have radar guided missiles and whilst the MiG-19 doesn't have RWR, that makes it easy prey for the semi-active radar homing AIM-7Es, which will in turn absolutely throw off the composition of the teams for the MiG-21 BIS and for anyone who is slammed on the opposing team to the Phantoms and stuck with MiGs. You can see where this is going. Gaijin have basically just put a band-aid solution on something that needs a much greater fix. And this is absolutely unacceptable. I cannot stress how so lazy this is. And Gaijin is just going to get away with it. So, in this case here, we have such a shit situation that Gaijin have created. And like I said in many videos before, the one solution is battle rating decompression. Oh, but uh, you'll increase the queue times. Well, honestly, at this point, until I see the fucking statistics, I am not going to buy that bullshit anymore. You can kiss your queue times goodbye because people are not going to play the battle ratings because they are not balanced. And when something is not balanced, people don't play. And you know what? People don't pay any money either. In fact, I would highly recommend that no one pays a cent to Gaijin. Don't buy any premiums. Don't buy any premium time. Don't buy into the battle pass. Don't buy into the events. Fuck them. If they're going to do dumb shit like this, then they deserve to financially suffer as a result of their poor decisions. Gaijin is clear that they just do not have any idea with what they're doing. And for me, this is what absolutely makes me mad. I've had some really dumb shit said to me this week. Some things like, morphine isn't a painkiller. Yes, I was told that by an RN this week. Uh, but honestly... Gaijin is more dumb than that. You honestly cannot get much more fucking stupid than this. And seeing all of this happen in front of my very eyes, when I know for a fact that the queue times are going to get better because the last time they introduced battle rating and decompression, the queue times got better, is just, just a smokescreen for Gaijin to do whatever the hell they want, to apply band-aid solutions, and to not actually fix the real problems. This is the main problem I have with Gaijin. Everything that they add tends to be a band-aid solution for shit. Well, why are the Nords over destroying tanks RB? Well, it's obvious. G91 R3 has four of them, and they're easy to spawn, and they are extremely accurate. So, what did Gaijin do? They made it RNG and nerf the accuracy. Instead of increasing its spawn points, or increasing the battle rating of the G91 R3. Band-aid solution. What did Gaijin do when uh, the MiG-19 was uh, starting to suffer? Of course, we know they lowered it in battle rating. Band-Aid solution. Gaijin are just applying Band-Aid solutions or ignoring the problem. And this is what really pisses me off. And we are now at a point where planes like the Venom and the C, uh, sorry, and the Javelin are now at the same battle rating as they were months ago. And they are no more competitive. In fact, now they are less competitive because the MiG-15s and the Sabres are now a lower battle rating. Just because they get more attention. Because more people play MiG-15s and more people play Sabres. For me, this is absolutely unacceptable. Every single plane needs to be as balanced as possible. And if that means you are to sacrifice queue times for about two weeks, then so be it. That's the path that needs to be taken. Gadget needs to do a proper job, pull their fucking finger out of their ass, and get something going. Because at this rate... The game is going to fucking die, and at some point, I'm going to laugh and grab the shovel and fill the fucking grave myself.